Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to use the tool AIDA or AIDA. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is a selling tool, it got the following characteristics. The acronym AIDA refers to the concept of attention, interest, a demonstration, desire and action. This technique refers to the sales process and individual into five phases. The, the sales technique based on identify the different uh, phases of the sale but that uh, user spends from when he meets until he buys from us. This tool is complementary to the design thinking methodology or any other agile methodology and it is used in the last stage of the implementation and commercialization. Okay, so this tool is very important because it will allow you be basically to sell and commercialize your product, service, or business model. However, you have to keep in mind that this process is never a ending, a complete ending. Always you need to find new ways to make it better. So the first point is attention. Attention is extremely important because you need to call the attention of your uh, possible customers and uh, possible people who are interested to buy something. So the recognition of the brand is very important because when you have a goodwill and is well done, you will be acknowledged by the customer and the person. However, you need to advertise and you need to pay publicity in different social media, of course, depending on the strategy, if it's B2B, if it's B2C, or depending on your marketing objectives. The second part is interest. It's very important to show the benefits that people get for buy your product or your service. Always, you need to be looking and researching for different ways and different forms to analyze and find new ways to bring people all together. So it's very important that you keep updating the ways to uh, to keep your possible customer interest in your product or your service. The third part is demonstration. You need to show how it works. You need to uh, show the structure of your product, the structure of your service, and how people can be involved in that. So demonstrate always all the benefits on all the good stuff that your product or service has. Then the desire, you need to create that um, possibility of desire that people wish to have your product or your service. And of course you need to uh, trying to find an emotional connection between your customer and your product or your service. And also very important is the experience. If you develop a good way to create something different and to show that people can have an emotional attachment of that, it will be very important as well. And finally, the five point is action. You need to show how can people get interactions and they start become loyal to your product or your service. Any kind of strategy work as long as people keep interested, as long as they keep being loyal. You have to keep something in mind. Maybe you have the actions, complete actions, to have that all, all well put together. However, you need to be updating that because something that can be working right now in a couple of months or weeks, not. So this process is always very important so you can sell your product or your service. You have to make a deep research and of course try to involve different technologies and process of innovation. As a conclusion, we can say that continuous if in improvement is essential to refine your process. Experience and loyalty are the main axes in all the development that is what you're looking for. And it's important to be clear who is the client and all their features. So it's extremely important that before you develop this tool, you have all the characteristics of your user and your buyer and what are the triggers and what they are looking for. 
Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help in your education. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media. Our Udemy courses are already available. So if you are interested or you are looking for, please subscribe to our channel. Every Monday we have a new video in Spanish. Every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.